Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin lecturing Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to create a basic Gantt chart in Microsoft Excel version 2010. To start off with, here I have some um, data for an e-learning project. The project has nine tasks listed on the left hand side here and each task has a start date, a duration in days and an end date. And I'd like to be able to represent these data on a typical Gantt chart. So the first thing I need to do is to create the chart. Now Excel does not have a Gantt chart option to create charts, so there's a few things we need to do in order to be able to create a Gantt chart. So first off, I'm going to select the insert ribbon across the top here, and the type of chart I'm going to select in the centre here is a bar chart, and underneath that I'm going to select the stacked bar chart 2D option here in the centre. So let's select that. And this gives me, for the moment, a blank box um, here. And what I'd like to be able to do then is to add in a, a series of data to represent the chart. So over on my ribbon out here on the left hand side, I'm going to select the Select Data option here towards the left. This brings up a data source window here, and I need to add in my two data sources. I'd like to chart the start date and the duration that will give me my Gantt chart. So I'm going to click on the Add here under the Legend Entry section. So I'll click on Add. That gives me a little box here, which I am going to uh, give the series name in this, the start date. And the series values I'm going to select with the Select button here at the right hand side. Is I'm just going to go up to my data and select the series of dates. Select, click on the Complete button. And you can see on my right hand side, I've got some data starting to appear in my chart. So I'll click OK there. To add in the duration, I do something similar. So I'll click the Add button, give it a name, Duration. The Series Values, click on that and select the Data Range here. Select the Complete button and click on OK. We can now see that we have uh, some data over the right hand side in my chart and it's starting to resemble a uh, Gantt chart in many ways. So I'm going to click OK here on the left hand side to get rid of the Select Data Source window. And I'm going to drag my chart over here uh, to the left so that we can centre it and do a little bit of work on this. Now it's a little bit scrunched up and there's a few extra bits and pieces in here that we don't need. So let's start by removing this uh, legend here on the right hand side and that makes our chart a little bit bigger. Now one thing you'll notice here is that the nine tasks on my chart are listed by number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and I'd like to replace that with the names of the tasks here on the left hand side. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So if I select, uh, uh, right click on the data range here and choose select data, this allows me for the start date option in my legend entries here, so select that, then click on edit over here on the right hand side and it brings up an access label range and I just select the nine task names here on the left hand side and click OK and you can see and OK again and you can see that they have been entered in here on my chart. Now straight away you probably notice that they are in reverse order so I need to change that around and Excel allows me to do that so once again right click right click on the um, uh, X axis, uh, choose Format Axis and there are several options here uh, um, to change this axis but the one I want you to look at here is a checkbox here towards the upper part called Categories in Reverse Order. Check that checkbox, click on Close and you can now see that my chart is re represents in the same order the tasks uh, on the data that I have used. Now the next thing I want to do to make this look a bit more like a Gantt chart is I need to get rid of the blue bars. Uh, so that's quite easy to do. All I'm going to do is get rid of the colours. So right click on this, select Format Data Series and under the Fill option here I'm going to select No Fill and under the Border Colour I'm going to select No Line and that will have the effect of getting rid of the blue bars. Now they're still there but they are invisible. And you can see over here on the right hand side I've now got something that much more resembles a Gantt chart. Now I could stop here, but there's one last thing I want to do. Excel inserts quite a lot of time at the beginning of the project in here that I don't need. So let's see if I can get rid of that and have my chart starting over here at the first brown box. In order to do this, it's important to understand how Excel stores dates. So if I click on the earliest date here, which is the uh, 5th of January, and select right-click and select Format Cells, and select the category General here on the left-hand side, we can see that a number 39818, and make a note of that, uh, represents the date of the 5th of January. So I'm going to click Cancel there because I don't want to change anything. And over here on my um, Gantt chart, I'm going to right-click on the date range here at the top, choose Format Axis, and in the Axis options over here on the uh, right-hand side, I'm going to select the minimum value and type in the number that I had, which was 39818. 
I'm also going to select the um, major unit as 7 instead of 10, so 7 to represent the days of the week, and choose close. I now have a Gantt chart that represents the data in my spreadsheet. You can see here uh, when each uh, task starts and when it's finished where there are gaps in the schedule uh, where uh, for example graphics and simulations can all occur at the same the tasks occur at the same time and this gives me some basic Gantt chart information that I might use in a presentation or if I'm preparing a report for an assignment. It has to be said if you want to use a more complicated Gantt chart you probably should be using Microsoft Project rather than Excel. Nevertheless, Excel allows you to create a basic Gantt chart that you can use uh, for your own reasons in assignments and in presentations. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much for your attention.